Hello everyone. In this hands-on lab, I'll show where and when to use the variables and variable groups in Azure DevOps YAML pipeline. And later, I'll show the integration of Azure Key Vault secrets with the variable groups and then use the same variable group in the DevOps pipeline. So let's check the step-by-step -step implementation in the lab. I'm logged into DevOps portal now and I'll be using lab shell in the organization and working in the project demo DevOps. So if you have gone through the previous videos in my channel, I'm using demo DevOps project in all the Azure DevOps videos. So now in this lab, first we'll deploy one key vault where we'll create two secrets, username and the password. And using those secrets, we'll deploy one virtual machine into the Azure environment. And for the creation of the virtual machine, I'll be using the ARM templates, which I have already created. And they are in the Azure DevOps repo, which I'll show you soon. Now in the pipeline, I'll be using the variables and the variable group and show when and how to use them. So let's start with the creation of Azure Key Vault. Let's go to Azure portal. Look for Key Vaults. Create a new Key Vault. Let's create a new resource group, RGKV. And let's name the Key Vault as lab key vault 0001 i'm in australia so i'll use the australia east region standard pricing let's reduce the number of days to seven for the retention and by default we'll enable the role based access control review and create and create So it's creating the key vault now. And once the key vault is created, I will create the secrets in the key vault. Key vault is created now. Let's go to the key vault resource. Let's go to secrets to create the secrets. But you can see I don't have permissions to create the secrets or view the secrets here. So first of all, I'll provide myself access. Because I just want to manage the secrets. So I'll provide myself key vault secret officer who can perform actions on the secrets. My user select review and assign and assign. The role is assigned now. So I should be able to create the secrets now. Perfect. Let's create a new secret. First is user Azure user. And I'll create the password. These username and password are for the virtual machine. Create. And the username and password are created now. I can go and check these. I'll go to the current version, show secret value, and I can see the secret value of username. Now let's go back to Azure DevOps portal and go to the repositories. So I'll be using a repository with the name secrets. There I have one ARM template already ready. So what it is doing is it's getting some details from the parameters file, virtual machine name, admin username, admin user password, location, virtual network, virtual network CIDR, subnet, subnet CIDR, public IP name, NIC card, VM size. And then at first it's creating the virtual network then the subnet, then public IP address, network interface card, and finally the virtual machine. And there is another parameters file where most of the values are provided, like the name of the virtual machine, location, virtual network name, CIDR, everything is provided except the admin username and admin password because we want to use the secrets from the key vault here. And there is another video which I have created using the key vault directly into the Azure DevOps pipeline. But in this video, we will be using the variable groups for that. So let's go to the pipelines and create a new pipeline. Where I'll select the source as Azure repos get. 
secrets where we have deployed where I'm keeping the ARM templates. So let's create a starter pipeline. So let's make the changes. First remove the steps here. So I'll change the trigger. I'll set it up as none. So that means if we change anything in our repository, this pipeline should not trigger. And in the pool, I want to use the windows latest. And this will be Microsoft managed DevOps agent on which this pipeline will be running. Now I'll add different steps. Let's add the first task. So this will be a PowerShell task where we are running the PowerShell command to create the resource group. New AZ resource group, the name of the resource group and the location. So now you would have noticed that I'm using the Azure subscription as demo wave photo, which is a service connection created in Azure DevOps project for Azure environment. And I've already created a video for this. Either you can click on the right side where it's showing the link of the video or check the link in the description of this video itself. So let me first save it and then show you. Now I'll show you the service connection in the project settings. Go to the pipeline service connection. And there is one service connection with the name demo wave photo, which is created. And this service connection has contributor level access in my Azure subscription. So let's go back to the pipeline. Secrets, edit the pipeline again. And now because we require the variables, either we can define the variables here itself, or we can use the variables of the pipeline. Let's create a new variable. Resource group name. Let's name it as RG variable group test. Okay. And then the location save and location. Let's copy it, create another variable location Australia East. And if you'll click here, you can use the variable in the script also. So in the case of the PowerShell, you need to define the variables like this. So let's copy this. Save. And say curly brackets. Same for the location too. Now let's run this pipeline to see if the pipeline variables are running or not. And before that, I want to show while creating the variables, if you'll click on this, it will become a secret variable. And these variables are specific to the pipeline and can only be used within the same pipeline. So let's close this validate and save and save. Now run this pipeline and see if it's working fine. So let's go to jobs. It's acquiring the agent from the cloud because the agent which we are using is Microsoft manage. Now the pipeline has started and this is the PowerShell task. So using the service connection, it will first get the access to the Azure environment and then deploy the resource group there. So it got the access and now resource group is deployed. Let's go to the Azure portal and check the resource group. RG variable group test. So the resource group is created. Let's go back to Azure DevOps. Now the next step is to create a variable group first, integrate it with the Azure Key Vault. And once the integration is done, then we'll import the secrets from Azure Key Vault and use in the pipeline to deploy the virtual machine. 
So first go to the library, create a variable group, evolved integration variable group, link secrets from Azure key vault. Just click on subscription and we'll use the Azure service connection. And this is the key vault which we have selected. Now this service connection doesn't have access on the Azure key vault. Either we can authorize from here, then it will take us to Azure portal or we can go to the project settings, leave, we'll create it again. Service connection, so minus service principle. So from here we can know which service principle is created. Lab shell in the demo DevOps. So now let's go to Azure key vault. provide the access. We need to provide the read access to the secrets. So add a role assignment, look for key vault secrets. And there is a secret user, which can read the secret contents only. Next. Now select the service principle, which was lab shell in the select review and assign and assign. Now the role assignment is done. So that means using the service principle variable group can now access these secrets. Let's go back to Azure DevOps portal. In the pipeline, go to library, create a new variable group, key vault integration variable group, link secrets from Azure key vault. Instead of the subscription, I'll select the service connection. Refresh it, key vault name. And now it's not asking us to authorize because the service connection has access to the key vault secrets. Now click on add. Now you can see that you can import the secrets from Azure key vault into this variable group. So let's import both. Okay. And save. Another task is we need to provide the pipeline permissions. So either we need to provide to a specific pipeline, there is only one secret pipeline or you can provide to all pipeline. So if we'll provide the open access, so that access means all the pipelines can access this variable group. So, but I want to provide it to only specific pipeline. This is secrets. And actually this is the benefit of using variable groups so that that variable group can be shared among different pipelines and you don't need to create the secrets again and again for each and every pipeline like we just did in the pipeline variables. So access is provided to the pipeline now. Let's go back to our pipeline. Here, edit. And let's add another task. Look for ARM template deployment. Deployment scope is resource group, service connection, subscription. There is only one Visual Studio subscription. Let's create or update the resource group. Let's select the resource group name, RG iPhone VG test. Oh, my bad. Instead of naming it as RG, I named it as RH location, Australia East. Now the template location will be linked artifact and we want to fetch the template from the repository. So let me provide the values. This is how we can look for the VNet template and VNet parameters. And we need to define these variables into the pipeline itself. So let's first add them. So let's define in the pipeline variables, VNet parameters. And I'll just copy the name of the template files, which I have created. So the name of the parameter file is Azure deploy parameters.json. And this file is saved into Git repo. Save. Let's add another one to VNet template and ARM template file name is Azure deployed.json. Okay. And save. For now, for this ARM deployment, it'll pick up the values from the variables, but there are two parameters which are missing the username and the password. And that we can do using the override parameters. 
which means we are overriding the parameters of the parameter file as well as the ARM template. So admin username. So here we have created the user and for admin password, it will be pass because these are the secrets which we have imported in the variable group. Now, and one thing important which I have really missed is setting up the variables. So let me add the variables and then the group and because we are using the group. So let's write group and the name of the group and the name of the group is kvint variable group. So using this variable group, we will get the details of user and password and other variables will be picked up from the pipeline variables. In this pipeline, I'm using both the pipeline variables as well as the variable group. Now let's validate and save, save and run. Before running, let's, sorry, I need to comment this task because this task is already run and resource group is already created. So now the only task which will run is ARM template deployment. Let's validate and save and save and run. So let's click on the jobs. The job has already started. First it has downloaded the secrets user and the password from the key vault. Then it has set up the environment for this pipeline in the Azure managed agent. And finally it's deploying the ARM template. Let's go to the resource group in Azure portal and go to the deployments. There is one deployment currently going on. And first it created the virtual network, then public IP, then NIC card, and now it's creating the virtual machine. So the deployment is successful. Let's go to the resource group. Go to the virtual machine. Right now the virtual machine agent status is not ready. Let's wait for a few more minutes and then I'll log into this virtual machine using the username and password which I've saved into key vault. So virtual machine is running fine now. Let's copy the public IP address. Let's do the RDP. Copy the IP address, connect. It's prompting for username and password. Azure user was the username. Let me provide the password. And perfect. I'm able to log in. So let me close this session. So to summarize this video, we have created a key vault in which we created two secrets, username and the password. And we use those secrets in the variable group. Now that variable group can be used across multiple pipelines. And for the specific variables to be used in the pipeline, we have created the variables in the pipeline. And using the combination of the pipeline variables and the variable group, we have done the deployment of virtual machine using the key vault secrets. So that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.